Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft Support has a Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool bundled in Windows, also known as MSDT for short. Now, how you can launch and run this application is just by simply right-clicking on your Start menu, click on Run, in Run just enter MSDT, click on OK, and this will launch the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool. Now, this tool is useful if, as an example, you are experiencing issues with your system and you can then run diagnostics and then you can send those uh, results directly to Microsoft for further testing and analysis. Now, unfortunately, um, recently Microsoft has announced, though, that there is a high severity security flaw that is affecting uh, the diagnostics tool on all supported versions of Windows and Windows Server. Now, if we just head over to that announcement, uh, where they give us guidance for CVE 2022-30190 regarding the vulnerability affecting the tool, which was posted on the 30th of May. So that was yesterday in my region. Now, just for the purposes of this video, for easier reference, I've just highlighted the important information here for you in yellow. And basically, this vulnerability is a remote code execution vulnerability that exists when MSDT is called using the URL protocol from a call-in application such as Word. They go on to say an attacker who successfully exploits this vulnerability can run arbitrary code with the privileges of the call-in application. The attacker can then install programs, view change or delete data or create new accounts in the context allowed by the user's rights. Now, I know that's quite a mouthful, but all you need to know uh, for the purposes of this video is that there is a security vulnerability that is affecting the diagnostics tool as mentioned. Now, Microsoft has provided some temporary workarounds uh, in this post, and I think the solution and workaround which would be of most benefit to most users uh, would be re regarding... Uh, the Microsoft Defender detections and protections, and that's if you are running and using Microsoft Defender antivirus, where they say you should turn on cloud-delivered protection and automatic sample submission because these use artificial, those settings use artificial intelligence and machine learning to quickly identify and stop new and unknown threats. So just to demonstrate, if we just head over to Microsoft Defender, virus and threat protection, and under virus and threat protection, click on manage settings, and these are the two settings they are talking about. Cloud delivered protection and automatic sample submission. So just double check that these are toggled on and turned on. And just to uh, give you a heads up, for most users, these will be turned on by default in Microsoft Defender anyway. So for most users, um, there's a very slim chance that this vulnerability will affect your device and your system. So if you are... Um, a regular home user, just check that these settings are turned on and then um, uh, there's a very slim chance um, that this will affect um, your system, even though this is a vulnerability affecting that diagnostic tool. Now, Microsoft also goes on to say that customers of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint can enable attack surface reduction rule, which is block office create process rule that blocks office apps from creating child processes. So just be aware of that. Um, if you're an endpoint user and then if you're a system admin and you are brave enough um, you can um, disable Microsoft says you can disable the MSDT URL protocol by running command prompt as administrator and using these relevant commands now I will leave a link to this post down below if um, you are an, a system admin and want to disable uh, the URL protocol and where you can just come copy and paste these commands for easier reference. And at this stage, um, Microsoft uh, say that they um, are still working on a fix, uh, which I, I hope um, they do roll out sooner than later. And if that fix does roll out, we can expect uh, obviously an out-of-band update and rolling out sometime uh, in the next couple of weeks, or that will be fixed in um, the... Uh, security update rolling out in, on the second Tuesday, the cumulative update, security update, patch Tuesday update rolling out on the second Tuesday of next month in June. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.